What's up YouTube, it's Robo13 and I just picked up the $99 HP touchpad from Walmart. It just went on sale for $99 and $150 for the 32 gigabyte one. And I found it online, so I went ahead and bought it and just got it from Walmart and apparently there's no more left. So uh, I don't think you guys can get this anymore unless you buy it from uh, eBay or something like that. So I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing of it. I'll do f some reviews on it, but not too much unless you guys want it because you know, it's not even available anymore. It's not gonna be supported by HP or anything like that. Hopefully I'll be able to see if I can hack into it and try to add Android because apparently people have been able to add Android OS to it, which would be really cool. Okay, and then just slides out straight like this. Right out of the box, there's nothing left in there. And here's the touchpad itself. It's about the same size as the iPad now that I can tell. Uh, it's a pretty much the same thickness. It's maybe a little bit shorter than the iPad, but I'll get right back to that. Uh, and here is just the owner's manual and the charging cables on the side. I'm not going to bother taking those out because you guys want to see this. So take this. Take this off. Here's the HP touchpad. I'm going to boot it up. There's a loading screen. It's very shiny as you can see me right there. It's got a home button right there. It clicks. You guys can see that on the sides. It looks like those are speakers. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked into this at all actually because I haven't even thought about buying it. There's two speakers on this side it looks like. And on this side is a volume rocker up and down. On the top there's a hold switch and a microphone jack. And on the bottom there's the micro USB charging port right there. So this is just the HP Touchpad unboxing. I'll do reviews on it if you guys want me to, just post a comment below. If you guys have one of these or if you ended up buying the $99 one or the $150 one, let me know. Also on top there's a little webcam. You see a camera or a webcam right there. So maybe you can do Skype calling with it. I'll test that out and everything. So just post a comment below and let me know if you want to do uh, a review on it and I will definitely do that, just let me know. And just remember to subscribe to me for new videos, like the comment below and comment down below, all right? Thanks guys.